Hi friends, welcome to my channel Lotus Geek. In this tutorial, we're gonna fix an error boot configuration data store could not be opened. Before proceeding, I request you to please click on the subscribe button to continue watching more such tech and how to videos. Now let's go ahead and proceed. Click on the start menu and type here CMD and choose the option run as administrator. Now in command form, type a command bcd edit space slash set space current space description space give a name. I mean give any name you would like to give. For example, I'll type lotus and execute the command to set the entry point value. The command is successfully created. Now type exit and close the command prompt and restart your system and check if the problem is resolved. If the problem is still persist, we are going to proceed to the second. In second step, again open CMD and run as administrator. Here type the command bcd edit space slash set space test signing space on and hit the enter button. The command is again successfully completed. Now close the command prompt and restart your system. Now once we started you can see in this right corner test mode is on. Now this means you can edit or you can use the command prompt and you will not get any kind of error. Once your work is completed right click on task manager and click on task manager. Now in taskbar click on the file menu and type here I mean choose run new task. Type here CMD and check mark the option create this task with admin privilege and hit the OK button. Now once your work is completed type bcd edit space slash set space test signing space O and hit the enter button. Now type exit and close the command prompt. This will disable your test mode once the work is completed you go ahead and disable your test mode if still this doesn't work out we are going to proceed with the third step in third step i request you to restart your system by holding the shift key and click on the start menu and choose the option restart to restart your system in the advanced recovery mode Now in advanced recovery mode, choose the option troubleshoot. Click on advanced options and choose CMD. Choose the account and enter the password. Now here you need to type here few commands one by one. Type here boot rack space slash fix MBR and hit the enter button. Now second command is boot rack space slash fix boot and hit the enter button. If it gives you error access is denied type boot rack sec t space slash nt60 space sys and hit the enter button. Now again type the same command boot rack space slash fix boot and hit the enter button. Now third command is boot rack space slash rebuild bcd and hit the enter button. All these commands I will provide you in the description below so that you can easily copy and paste over here. Now you can see the operation is completed and identified windows installation are zero. If at your end 
you will find total windows installation is one then you will have to choose the option a to proceed further now type the exit button type here exit and hit the enter button now turn off your pc and restart your system and check if the problem is resolved or not so at my end these are the three possible ways using these ways you can easily resolve this error if you still face any kind of issue kindly comment below for more ways for for more resolutions